Dr. Jill Krista. I'm here now with the second kitchen herb that you can use to boost your immunity and protect you from viral and fungal illnesses. So we have here a boiling pot of water. I'm going to show you how to use thyme. So this is fresh thyme. You can use that or you can use dried thyme. Of course, this is a bigger one than you'd probably find in the spice aisle, but I use this a lot, so I order this in bulk. Or you can also use essential oil of thyme. So the essential oil is the easiest one to do um, because you only have to add 10 drops to this kettle of water. And if you can show, we can show how much, well, how much water we put in there. It's boiling, we just took it off the stove. So you would add 10 drops and then you would do your steam inhalation. If you're using dried thyme, you would add that and then do the steam inhalation after maybe a couple minutes because you want it to seep, steep in there. For dried thyme, you would add about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of dried thyme for this kettle, little bit of kettle of water. And this is about two cups of boiling water. For fresh thyme, you can get really picky about stripping the stems and making sure that you just get the leaves in there because that will be more a stronger brew. So you can strip it in but I am a lazy cook, so I just grab some of the fresh and put it right in. And Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. So this is equivalent to about two to three tablespoons, two tablespoons probably of dried, one entire container of fresh. Um, and then once you get it down into the hot water. If you were here, you could smell that it's smelling so good. What's magical about thyme is it is also an antibacterial. They used to use it in hospital settings to, um, after a patient had been in the room to disinfect the room. They would use this aroma of thyme because it's so effective against a broad spectrum of different pathogens. So there we have it starting to smell really good. You can kind of see in the kettle that some of those are wilting and turning a darker green. So now I'm gonna turn this over to my patient and we'll show you how to do a steam inhalation. <clears throat> so you just take a normal towel, like a, a flour sack drying towel, and then you inhale the steam. Go even lower. <gasps> You want to get low enough to get full steam, but you don't want to burn. So for little children, you can transfer this hot water into a non-heated kettle and um, that reduces the chance of burning. And you do the inhalation in through your nose, out through your mouth for five to 10 minutes or until congestion, sore throat, headache. Um, what else can I think of? Sore throat, headache. After that, and lung issues, as those subside, then you're done with your inhalation. Thank you, patient. I feel better already. <laughs>